Okay, today I'm going to show you how it works for the closed caption features of a Google button. Okay, now here is the login interface uh, of the uh, of the Google button, and uh, if you want to enable the closed caption feature, you have to first of all you have to click this gear icon and uh, enable red closed captions. And you have to choose the language you want to caption. Uh, like now I'm speaking English, so we have to choose English. And if you have some uh, other language speaker like uh, Spanish or Portuguese, you can choose the, the uh, uh, those options, and it, it will work like that way. Now let's just we do a testing. We use English. Okay. Once you enable the closed captions, you will see. Uh, the CC icon or the CC uh, column is here in the left side and uh, Because here initially the big button is using for you are writing the, the captions and it was shown here and um, Later it will can be a subtitles, but uh, for men apparent we have enabled speech to text it means once you are talking and uh, our server we will will automatically convert your language to a text. Let's uh, okay. Let's do some testing. Uh, but uh, to enable this one, you have I mean to to testing this one, you have to enable uh, the feature or the function start dictation. Just click okay, and okay. Now it works. You see. Okay, you see. Uh, what, what, while I'm talking. Uh, the words is is come out listed here, but it's not in the subtitle. So, to make it in the subtitle, you have to click CC. Caption language English. And start. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I just uh, minimize the. Uh, I just minimize the. The whiteboard, you will see it more clear for the subtitles. Yeah, I just need to give a little bit time uh, for speech to text, convert your speech to text, and also to you have to um, make the words even uh, not shorten, but uh, have to be in the right uh, uh, lens because. If you are just keep talking, talking, then it take a longer time to translate, not translate to convert, but uh, it will show a lot of words in one place. It's not looks good. Okay, this is the the, the closed caption features, and uh, for Mana Parrot service, we have make it even great. Is we have enabled the translation service. Uh, let's still make a testing. Let's choose CC. Here, there is a column, and uh, to enable you uh, to choose a language you want to translate. I mean, like uh, now I'm speaking English. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to see the subtitles is in Spanish. Okay, let's do Spanish. Spanish is here. Okay, good. See, the subtitle is in Spanish. Perfect. It, it is really helpful for the users who are not familiar with the language. You see, my speech have to in a good speed. speed. It's not like a too fast, or it's not. You cannot keep talking. You have to speak like one sentence by one sentence. That will be the best because you have to image imagination something, someone like a, a interpreter writing behind you. Because once in the real life, in the real life. If you have someone to help you to do the translation, 
I think you have to give him a time to do the translate. You cannot just talking, talking. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. And the next feature I'm going to show is um, because we also can do the translation for chatting. Let's come to here, public chat. We can make it uh, even bigger. Okay, and that's it. Here, still, uh, by default, the feature is disabled. You have to enable it. How to enable it is from here, translate chat. You have, if you click, it will drop down a list of language you can do the translation. Still, same, we choose Spanish. Okay, let's test it. Remember, this one is not translate your typing because it doesn't make sense. Whatever you're typing, it, it is come from, from your language. You, you must understand that one. So it's only translate the coming message. It's the message is from other users. Okay, now I'm typing hello and let's see if there's another user from another part. We are typing hello as well. And I want to see it in Spanish. You see, hola, correct. It's in Spanish. And of course, you can choose any language you want to choose. Like if you have a, a Japanese, a German, Korean, and uh, even some uh, very rare language, Catalan and Arabic. Yeah, I think you can, you can translate it. Uh, translate to uh, Arabic. Hello. Hello. Arabic, hello. Okay, great. Yeah, it, it this is really, I mean, it is helpful for some of our purpose, uh, education purpose or some conference. And uh, because uh, some of your users, they are not in the same language and um, you, need, you cannot get an interpreter inside the room or it's hard to get interpreter and uh, with this feature is uh, helpful and uh, it's quite a convenience also. You see, I, I talk a lot and uh, the translation is, is getting, it still pop up, but um, you know, the, the, the only thing is uh, uh, for the reader, uh, for the user, if they want to read your subtitles, if that's a lot, yeah, then it will be difficult because for for reading, it takes time. Perfect. That's all. That's all for the feature I'm, I'm going to show for today. Thanks for watching.